This is the iRocker all around 11 unfolded. So this is the accessories that you get minus the electric pump over there. That does not come with it. But instead of showing you guys me just pumping away on this board on the manual thing for like 10 minutes, instead I'm gonna show you what the electric pump does and why you should get it. So you can see the accessories include the fins, paddles, ankle leash, and then of course the bag over there. Talking a bit about the iRocker electric pump. Now there are two attachments for this and two ways you can go about it. You can either use a cigarette lighter, which is this part right here, or you could use this adapter part that has the alligator clips. Now, in my experience, I like to use the alligator clips because you're going straight from the battery. I've had instances where if you just plug in the cigarette lighter, it actually breaks the fuse for the cigarette lighter in your car. So the car is on. I like to keep the car running whenever I put on the drip battery so that it doesn't drain it too much. So red, those are red here. This is the red cover, so this tells you your car should tell you which is plus, which is minus. Black goes with black. And now you just hook up the hose. Make sure that this pin is up, otherwise it will be deflating rapidly as soon as you release the valve. Enter it in like that. So before I go and inflate this thing, let me just explain a little bit about what the settings are. So the PSI bar is for unit switching. So either PSI or bar pressure, whichever your country kind of prefers. The plus is the air pressure setting. So you can basically increase what you, what you really want. The auto is what you press automatically. So basically this one we set to 15 PSI. So this one is good for SUPS essentially. Um, the high pressure is one to 20 PSI as you can see right here. While the low pressure is good for like smaller low pressure things such as even inflatable kayaks, floaties, etc. So now that it is on, just press auto and you will hear it. So as you can see, that shows you the PSI that it's filling the board in. As you can see, look at that. It's coming alive. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. So I'll show you the next stage as to when this thing starts to kick into gear here. So you can kind of see it's starting to fill off. Now within any moment, see that kicks into that second gear. PSI increasing. So you can see our set PSI is at 15 right here. Now to stop this, you can simply just press auto and then you can stop it at any time. So once you're done inflating, you just have to simply unscrew this guy like so and it goes like that. Again, make sure that this thing is up, otherwise all that work you did inflating it will pretty much be gone. Another thing I wanted to show with this pump is that it's a good size for most other SUP boards. So the attachment, let's get this piece of grass off there, should be able to fit other SUP brands. So for example, this is my Nixie Newport G4. And I filled it up many times with this and I'll demonstrate how to do it. Then make sure that this pin again is up, cannot, Cannot stress that enough. Twist. 
It's a bit harder with one hand. <laughs> okay, it's in. And you press auto. That turns it on. You press auto again. Just like that. It's coming to life. Next, we're going to install the fins. So these fins are made of nylon material. And for this particular board, they're white, which in theory is pretty cool, but they do stain a little bit after time. So just keep that in mind. So how you install them is you have this little protrusion right here, fit it with the slot, press it down and locks in. And you, there's this little lever here that you press down. So now I will say out of all the fins for most of the boards, these ones do actually slide in the quickest, which is actually pretty nice. So good job I rocker. Now we'll be deflating the board. So simply screw the cap off with the pin, press down and twist. Press down the board a little bit to get some of the arrow. Allow you to start rolling. So you want to roll it pretty tight like this. Roll from the nose. Few moments later. Now that it is deflated, make sure the air is out. Make sure that this pin is up for next time when you're inflating. Simply put the strap around. Stick it up sometimes, a little bit better. Pull the strap, so that it's tight. Right about here. Next, put it into the bag. you're off.